Hello YouTube viewers, welcome to my channel Science to Technology. In today's show, Science Thursday, we're gonna talk about 2020 aluminum exclusions. So let's dive right into it. Well, first, what the heck we are talking about? We are talking about a aluminum B2020. What does that mean? That simply means there is a standardized platform or uh, whatever you call a unit. Same way we in server industry, we have 1U, 2U, 3U, 4U server racks. Same way, this is 2020. Now, 2020 simply represents the millimeter uh, width uh, and height, 2020. Basically, 2 centimeter by 2 centimeter. Now, it's a standardized profile, which means if uh, you have multiple variations of that, it will work with each other. Basically, it's a Lego with metal and aluminum. Now that two uh, side basically, uh, if you have three axes, two of them is completely fixed. So length can be custom. So depending on your uh, casting system, depending on your die system, if you have the ability to make let's say 10 meter long pieces, go to make 10 meter long pieces. If But if customer needs one meter, you're not going to make one meter, you're just going to cut uh, the big one. And if customer needs, uh, let's say only uh, 30 or 40, uh, you know, centimeter you're gonna make that so length can be custom however profile will not change and it is fully modular so that is the core aspect of it that's why the 2020 is such a uh, popular thing you take one unit of that basically 2020 and you can stack them up the way you want it now the way you want it as in manufacturer wants it so you can have like four uh, you know 20 uh, by 80 this is 20 by 80 so it has four so you can have uh, 20 uh, by 40 where you have two of them you can have 20 by 40 where you have uh, basically four of them uh, but it will be called 40 40 so based on that whatever your need is let's say you are making a 3d printer and you need base access basically main carriage and it has to be strong and sturdy like uh, ender 3 you're gonna have 40 40 in the you know bottom area but on top you just want to have a little bit of strength and little bit of rigidity you are okay with 2020 and uh, you need a bit more oomph but you don't need too much oomph you may go with 2040 so that's the whole point it's completely modular each part is designed to work with each other and not to mention you do not need to drill you do not need to do anything to it other than cutting it you do not need anything else you can attach any part to any other part uh, with minimal effort or best case scenario you may need to uh, do a bit of tapping and uh, tapping as in like uh, cutting threads into metal now that would be very difficult on steel but this is aluminum so it's surprisingly easy so that's the whole point of it it's super easy so what's the logic behind it? Why the heck somebody wanted to make a Lego out of metal? Well, reality is uh, we use wood for many things. However, wood is ludicrously heavy. It's one thing that you don't think about is you make a basically uh, simple table out of it. It's like it's good, strong table. You're like, bro, this is very heavy. And that is a big issue for many people where they are like, dude, I want the lightness of a metal. But problem is metal is expensive. And another aspect of that is if you want to do a simple table, you need a lot of tools. Basically, uh, from welders are not something that you can just, even though you can buy them quite cheaply, but a good, reliable welder, you're like, yeah, I'm going to put my, uh, you know, welding bead here and it's going to do like that. Yeah. Those those are expensive and not to mention if you see any metal shop like any small metal shop you'll be like what the hell you're doing i just want to make a you know simple box so to say so it's ludicrously convoluted to get something simple done. but if you want to do something big then it starts to justify it but for small things it does not justify it so aluminum was chosen because aluminum is very easy to extrude basically you take your die and you push uh, aluminum uh, billet through it a big hunking hot chunk of aluminum through it and you get a very long stretch um, you know basically profile out of it and that profile sometimes can be pulled from other end also so it gives you much more uh, structural rigidity so that's the whole point and many times many people have tried to come up with something like this where they're like okay we're gonna design this modular technically bricks are also modular that's how you can combine each of them uh, but you know for metal it never worked out simply because the manufacturing was not too easy in this it's completely different manufacturing is so easy that there is freaking hundreds of profile uh, and almost all of them are intercompatible with each other so you can understand this is completely different you can like when you say it's easy to manufacture it is easy to manufacture as in from india to china to freaking usa to every tom dick and harry every tom dick and harry manufactures it so it's super easy to uh, you know manufacture and not to mention patents and all that does not matter too much because profiles can be changed again if some company let's say 80 20 uh, you know patents one profile you can just change the profile and it will still work from the outside so that's the logic behind it it's surprisingly useful so why the hell we wanted to you know do this whole reality of that if you just want a small uh, basically welded tubular sheets or drill into it or tap into it like you want to do any little thing it's like yeah you just need to have a whole workshop for that 
on top of that long term wise let's say you have a workshop but again how often do you need that only at the time of manufacturing the another aspect is steel rusts so to either to prevent that you have to either polish it a lot or have to paint a lot both of them add costs to it another aspect is uh, let's say aluminum uh, boxes uh, these tubes are quite useful because they allow very easy welding tubes are ludicrously hard to weld on now you may be like i'm professional i've been welding for 100 years and i can do that uh, with my eyes closed removing those kind of people uh, aluminum tube welding is very difficult aluminum uh, basically steel tube welding is very difficult tube geometry welding is very difficult so tubes are ludicrously difficult so what people do they go with boxes benefit super easy to weld side effect box is inherently not that structurally rigid basically you can take the box and you can twist it so even if it's a steel even if it is thick wall it does not have the oomph basically you can twist it surprisingly easy and if you make them long enough yeah it's a joke and uh, like uh, in india we use uh, these for banner ads and any uh, you know bit of dent on the pipe it bends very quickly so that's the reality of it it's not that rigid but 2020 aluminum exclusions were designed the profile was specifically selected for minimum amount of material consumed so it does not become too heavy but the maximum amount of rigidity so it's it's oomph. like to twist it it you literally have to spend a lot of energy even if you take something like that's only two centimeter by two centimeter and ten centimeter just to twist that you will be surprised how much oomph it takes to uh, you know twist it. it's not indestructible it's not made out of adamantium but again surprisingly good compared to uh, like you know steel box tubes so that's why people built this and you don't have to do anything no drilling no tapping and you can still manufacture whatever you want to do this so building what can you actually build out of it reality is from simple things i have provided tons of video down below please check them out uh, from simple things to complex things so you can start with a simple box hey i just want to make a box uh, you know a dressing table box or something like that people make coffee tables out of that furniture out of that. start simple you know just start simple and then you can go to you know cnc machine then you'll be like yeah let's make 3d printer and many many mass produced 3d printers do come out of that and then you go to upper end where they are like yeah whole production lines like you go to a factory floor and you see people working and they have a, like a dedicated uh, you know system of a table basically like this station requires this kind of tool uh, it happens in electronics or mobile sound engineering and all that like you have a factory that requires very unique custom tools uh, are you gonna you know create a new whole production line or you're just gonna buy 2020 and you're just gonna manufacture whatever you need to that and it is uh modular so once you build it because no welding was done you can change it whenever you want it so let's say uh, for one generation of products you needed certain kind of thing another generation you're like bro we don't need this one or we need to add this much Ta -da! just add up a rail you don't have to do any welding anything like that just go and enjoy so that's the whole point in terms of building capability i cannot show anything out there because like everything can be built out of this and i do not mean that lightly i truly mean that as in like people have been built actual it's a not a long-term solution for uh, basically build making buildings out of that other than that because again that would be over expensive you might as well be better with steel and concrete but uh, if you want to build something be it uh, uh, many lab e equipments also require this kind of uh, structures where you have laser table and all that so 2020 has been used for that and for uh, if you have big conveyor wells that you want to build out of that there is a bigger version of 2020 which is 40 40 so it has like a unit uh, instead of uh, basically two centimeter unit the unit is uh, four centimeter it's much more big, uh, bigger bigger used for conveyor belts in airports and all that jazz and whole production line where you have big heavy machineries going around people do that so build device your imagination is the true limitation and not to mention all of that without ever drilling or tapping you can drill you can tap and those will increase your what can you do or how efficiently you can do that very effectively but it's not necessary that's the whole point this is something that you can buy and like uh, give a lot of parts and make children's uh, you know like hey build something with it they will, you will be surprised what they can build out of that now many times i have uh, you know uh, covered things here that are expensive that are like ludicrously difficult or flat out uh, unaccessible like lithium titanate battery or something like that but this time it's completely different it's super easy to get from amazon to banggood like you can get it without an issue this is the one of the uh, you know success story of 2020 it's like it is something that you can buy and if you live in a moderately sized city or a big town they, they will have at least one guy who can knows another guy 
guy who's like, yeah, I can, you know, hook you up. Or if you have a good online shipping, you don't even have to think about that. And in India, like uh, generally most things are like ludicrously difficult to get. We have companies that uh, take a V, uh, basically aluminum profiles. Uh, generally, these are classified as V slots. Uh, Nova 3D dot in that's an indian company that will sell you those uh, things then there is another company which will have uh, they generally buy gi giant packs and they will cut it to the size that you need so this company has a weirdest name 3d printer ronix.com so p-r-i-n-t-r-o-n-i-c-x yeah i have no idea who came up with that name printeronics.com and this company have a really good reputation mainly basically in india there is a small company in up and uh, they actually uh, you know buy large chunks they will cut it to your size and they will ship it properly with using fedex and all that so surprise and international shipping also so surprisingly good then you have another company which manufactures it in india which is uh, sica sika india but this company is much bigger client basically their whole sell point is uh, production line equipment they are not focusing on cnc and 3d printer so you can make that like if you really want to make a big cnc machine you would want to have oomph uh, profiles the, uh, their selling point is 40 40 profiles so there's a lot of option with this this is something that i would urge just to watch the videos down below and it will inspire you like dude i can do this i can do that i can do this like your mind will start to race it's a lego for grown-ups useful lego so this was my presentation on uh, 2020 aluminum exclusions hope you liked it i hope you liked it if you didn't like it or didn't enjoy it i urge you to press dislike press it twice to show me extra disappointment please leave a comment because i'd like to reply to all of them subscribe press the bell icon if you're free and as always thanks for watching